morning everyone um it is monday the i believe it's the third of august which is crazy that it's august already um i am going into school today to finish my classroom um i had a couple of inset days after the children went so i had time to do most of it and i did it during term time anyway like after school and stuff but I still have a few things that I didn't get done, so I thought I would go in today just to finish it all off, maybe film a classroom tour for you guys, and yeah, um, just make sure I'm all organised ready for September. Plus, like, I find it so fun <laughs> to just like tidy and like decorate my classroom. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I feel like I haven't vlogged for ages because because I didn't. I don't know. Um, I've been making a lot of videos on Instagram, um, so if you haven't seen those and you, you want to, then I completely encourage you. Um, but yeah, I will just drive rather than ramble and I will see you at school. Oh, before we get to school, let me roll the footage of what I did this morning. Um, basically just cutting out um, a title for my topic board, Land Before Time, so dinosaurs and I started making my um, little signs for magazine holders that I'll explain that later, but they look cute. Okay, so I thought I'd show you. Okay, this is what it currently looks like. Uh, I've done loads already, but this is all the eco stuff I've been given because I'm going to be eco lead as well as language lead, so I've got to sort that out. Um, and I've got lots of bare displays. I need, that's going to be topic, science, oh, it's going to make um, growth mindset, I'm not sure yet. Um, and these are what the individual children are going to have on their tables. Um, and I'm going to get them to decorate it on the first day. Um, obviously because they've got their own supplies. I've added this. I'm loving it. Um, pretty much done my reading corner. Um, just and one thing I need to do over here. Um, what we did before, we um, wrote down the name of the book and the children like read it and then rate it. So I, need, I threw away the old ones and need to put new ones in. Okay, so last year when I first started, um, we had topic books, math books... Um, just art books in year one um, but now we are doing it so that we have all the individual books so like geography and history DT, science blah 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 okay so I've had to make more space for books and I've got this what I'm going to do is use my label maker to label for example like science RE and etc so I'm going to do that now is to put this on here for my dinosaur display and then I'm currently watching Beauty and the Beast whilst I do that.
we put up the science display title um, and the background, I'm just using um, this like one pound uh, parcel paper that I got from Primark for the background. And then the border is actually like a colour, but I um, wanted white, so actually all of them, I've just put them like the wrong way around. And then this display and a lot of my other displays, I've actually used this wrapping paper. I got it for 10p in the sale after Christmas and it's just wrapping paper from Sainsbury's but I love it and then this title is from teachpal.co.uk and yeah I'm loving it I love the two different um, backings together so I found this on Instagram and um, someone posted about it and it basically looks like this and it's like a growth mindset flower and I love it and I want to do a growth mindset display so I've just printed this out and I'm about to go cut it all out and stick it on this display okay printed it off I may be here a while so back to Beauty and the Beast So I've just made this sign, um, I was inspired by one I saw online and I'm using the font KG, I think it's called KG Do You Love Me? Yep, um, these are like my favourite ones by the way. Um, so I'm using this font, different colours and I'm going to put that as A3 and I'm going to put that on my growth mindset wall. Here is what I was trying to explain in the car earlier, so I've made these um, for each of my groups. Um, what I'm going to do is stick them on top of this um, and put their maths and English books in. Any display with ivory just looks so much better. So this title matches the class of kindness. So again, from Teach Pal. Uh, if you're not already, follow her on Instagram. She's amazing. Um, so that's my title. I've made this. Um, Silver Birch is the name of my class. And then my lovely growth mindset flower. I've just taken this out of the stationery cupboard and filled it with English, Maths and Science overviews that I found on TES and I will link it below. And it's basically just summarised the curriculum and what they need to know in each subject. Um, it's just a lot more simpler to use. I've done all the year groups so I have it for when I do move up or down. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's got links and like representations and it's just so easy to use and I really love about the science one um, it has this table and it kind of breaks down the skills um, and different topics that they do and how they progress each year what year groups learn what topics um, I found it really helpful especially because then I can look up at um, what they do in year two versus what we should be doing now and yeah loving it I just need to do a front cover now because this is not cutting it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, these were some editable um, like folder covers that I got um, from TES, I believe, or somewhere. Um, and I've done them all. I've chose these two patterns with like different colours. Um, and I'm going to stick them on the front of my folders. I can't get it down. I've like destroyed it. Oh my goodness. Finally. So this is kind of a mess, um, but I had loads of random math resources that I didn't know what to do with. So I put them all in here. For example, like shape posters and things and we did that. This is like a giant, giant's footprint when measuring, part whole models, challenge cards for doubling halving, some other challenge cards, um, just different bits with like 
everything. Um, so now they belong here. Okay, I have done them. These are all the ones I've done so far. So curriculum overviews, like what I showed you earlier, uh, for my sounds right, class profiles, all the information on my class, um, for my handwriting stuff, activities for guided reading, and then my common exception word tracking folder. Because um, for example, in year one, these are all the words that they need to be able to learn how to read and spell. And this is just where I track um, which words the children are still working on and then for their spelling test i've actually already done term one all the way to term six and i'm feeling like a boss sorted don't love it when your nails match the folders yes i literally cannot stop looking at them <laughs> they're my children This is my front door. Uh, my class is called Silver Birch, and this is how you say it in sign language. And obviously, a bit emoji to welcome everyone in. And here we go.